right, all you crazy Japanese learning freaks. Time to get your Japanese on. Here we go. We got, in the previous video, I explained what we're doing here. We are matching which one of these four sentences closely resemble, closestly, is that his word? Resembles this underlined word. You basically need to know what the vocabulary is. I've already looked at this one. So basically, you need to know what yube means in other words. And it gives you the answer here. So don't cheat by looking at right here. Don't look right there and cheat. If you look right where my mouse is going, then you'll figure out what the answer is before you have even like looked at it. <laughs> I don't even know if that's in the video. Is it in the video? Oh, yeah, it's there. Okay. So everyone knows what the correct answer is already. Let's look at this. We have yube shukutai o shimashita. So yube shukutai o shimashita. So what did you do last night? Well, yube, last night, shukutai, homework. Oh, shimashita. I did the homework. I want to talk a little bit about... I want to talk a little bit about the word shimas. Notice how this is the mashita form. So it's complete. The action is done. It has happened. It is over. That is what the mashta ending means. And, and it's polite. So we're talking to somebody that we're not too familiar with. Uh, it's a distal verb. And I actually have a packet coming out talking about these verb forms. Um, it'll be for the $5 uh, subscribers at Patreon, blah, blah, blah. So I'm making a, a monthly workbook that focuses on one chunk of Japanese in detail. And this is going to be the distal, um, the basic distal formations of verbs. I won't get into it much more. Links in the description, Patreon, or subscribe star. Anyway, you bet shukutai o shimasta. So shimas generally is translated as to play or to do. Um, it can even be translated as to make in some strange situations, like to 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 or to make a decision. It has a lot of meanings. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but also, depending on the noun in front of it it can just make a noun a verb. It's a very odd word. So if you take like benkyo, which is like your studies, like I do, I do my studies uh, and we add shimas to studies, it, it becomes the verbs to study. If you take renshu, which is like I go to practice every day, like, oh, I go to soccer practice. Sokka no renshu e iku. Uh, you can take renshu and tack on shimas and make it into the verb to practice something. Uh, very intriguing verb. It's basically the fail safe. I'm not quite sure what verb to use. So maybe shimas will cover my tukus. Uh, that's kind of what shimas is doing here. Or I mean, not here. Sorry. Here it's clearly do and then shukutai is homework. So the O particle is telling us what we're verbing. The verb is to do and the answer is shukutai. The thing that we're verbing is shukutai. And when we did it was yube. All right, so we have a bunch of words. So basically, all of these end in shukudai o shimashita, shukudai o shimashita, shukudai o shimashita, shukudai o shimashita. So we're just going to ignore that. So I did my homework, and then it tells us when. Ototoi, and then we have ototoi and ototoi. Um, ototoi means two days ago, the day before yesterday. Ototoi, no, and then we have the no particle. So look, we have ototoi, no, ototoi, no, kino, no, kino, no. I wish I could highlight down. Can I? Can I? Select in that way? No, it doesn't quite work that way. Okay. Uh, so, ototoi no, ototoi no, kino no, kino no. So, the no particle is modifying the word that comes after it. So, we're just going to ignore the no particle right here. But we have ototoi the day before yesterday and kino, which is yesterday. So, we kind of already know one and two are wrong because yube means last night. So, ototoi is two nights ago, which is not the same thing as yube at all. Uh, so, two days ago, one and two have to be wrong. So we're looking at three and four. <clears throat> uh, kino means yesterday. So kino, and then each one of these has a no particle after it. So kino is being used to modify the word that comes after it. We're either talking about asa, morning, or yoru, night. You've probably figured out the answer, especially since it's right there. So kino no yoru. So the night, uh, can I do that? The evening that is being modified by the word kino yesterday so the night of yesterday a weird way to say this i did my homework that would be pretty much the same translation for yube and that's what the correct answer is i hope this didn't go over your head if you have questions post a comment share this over social media thumbs up all that sort of good stuff and uh a few videos ago just in case you missed it i made a i i talked about a meme that's online about squids and the nature of sex that squids have. Good hoot. Hope you have fun watching that one as well. Have yourselves a happy dappy day. Peace out.